Welcome to the Cloud Provisioning application. In this video, we will go through the ServiceNow approach to managing your virtual environments in new ways. As an administrator, I'm able to get a snapshot of my entire virtualization ecosystem from the Service Monitoring Portal. Here, I can easily see the overall state of the entire VM environment, regardless of the underlying hypervisor. I'm able to see how effectively our virtual offerings are being leveraged with quick access to a wealth of data. All open virtual requests are displayed by their stage of fulfillment. And I can also see which types of offerings are requested the most. Through seamless integration with all other parts of the platform, we have access to some very insightful data. I'm able to see the departmental chargeback for all of my offerings as tracked by asset management. The request metrics allow visibility into not just the types of requests that are coming in, but also our performance fulfilling these requests by leveraging the associated SLAs. The key metrics give us further insight into how well our environment is being managed. We have quick views of all virtual machines in the environment, the number of offerings we've made available, how many VMs are in an error state, how many have leases expiring this month, and how many are not properly assigned or supported. In this last case, we can keep this number down by leveraging tools like the Data Certification plugin, which is perfect for capturing this data. As elsewhere in the ServiceNow platform, all of these reports and charts are interactive and live. I can directly click any metric, any bar, or any slice of a pie chart, and the system displays a list of all the records that make up that element. The cloud provisioning application also allows me to enforce change process. For example, when self-service actions, like terminating a virtual machine, take place. ServiceNow allows the creation of simple change conditions to ensure that the change process is followed. In this case, We've said that if a self-service user attempts to terminate any virtual machine instance where the used for field is set to production, the action will be subject to our change process. Now, when we try to terminate a virtual machine that is being used for production, we must receive change approval before the automated change can take place. Through functionality similar to the service monitoring portal, as a VM technician, I have visibility into any problems in our VM environments through the Cloud Operations Portal. I can see all the virtual machines I manage, outstanding tasks by type, requests by status, key metrics, and a list of all open tasks relating to my virtualization environments. As an end user, the Service Catalog and My Virtual Assets Portal give me the power to request and manage any virtual resources I need. In the service catalog, I can order a VM in a single click. On the My Virtual Assets portal, I'm able to see the progress of all my virtual requests, all virtual machines currently assigned to me, charts showing their state and type, and key metrics about them. I have complete control over the lifecycle and configuration of my VMs without ever having to bother an administrator. This has been a brief overview of ServiceNow Cloud Provisioning. You can see it yourself by clicking any of the modules in the Cloud Provisioning application on the Application Navigator. To try it against a live environment, please contact us. Please.